What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Louis Vuitton Jasper wallet I picked up at the Louis Vuitton store in Naples over a year ago for $515. Currently it's actually $530. Prices on Louis Vuitton's website just went up. This wallet just went up $15. Nonetheless, it doesn't get any reviews or any stars, but it is in stock and most likely you can find it at your local boutique. Anyways, normally we do stuff from Best Buy and Target and Amazon on this channel, but today I figured we would break it up and do something a little bit more exciting, a little more exotic, and take a look at my Louis Vuitton Jasper wallet one year later. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the wallet. Okay, so I bought the Jasper wallet more than a year ago, but I think it's safe to say I bought it a year ago because it sounds a little bit more exciting than saying I bought it a year and three months, right? So I call this wallet the J Herbert, not because he's my client advisor for this wallet, but because he left an impression on me when I bought it that I'll never forget. Literally, as I was leaving the store, he slid across the floor, arms extended, congratulating me on my purchase. The amount of class and kindness, the fact that I was treated as if I was special, which the customer always is, was astonishing to me. It's one of those reasons I hold on to this wallet to this day, and the reason I buy it Louis Vuitton to begin with. I've tried selling this wallet throughout the year during times I needed cash, but somehow I wasn't able to, either because I couldn't get what I wanted for it, or because I simply could not come to grips with selling it, which is why you shouldn't buy one to sell one and instead buy one to enjoy it. It has a certain quality to it, and everybody, and I mean everybody, appreciates a fine leather good from LV. So why not keep it? Nevertheless, my advice to you is to not take your LV to a pawn shop unless you absolutely positively need cash same day. I was offered at most $200 for this wallet and at the least $100. Not a wise investment decision. I recommend selling this wallet on Facebook or eBay and to do it months in advance if you think you'll need the money in the future. That way you can comb through the good and bad buyers while also coming to a fair selling price. Okay, so what I love about this wallet. Like I mentioned above, the experience I had buying it was unforgettable. Second, the way people's eyes light up when they see it, nothing beats a genuine LV. But let's take a look at the fit and finish a year later to find out what else I really like about this wallet. Keep in mind, it's been in a box for most of the year, so it might not have the same wear and tear as other typical wallets use more than a year. Anyways, let's start with the stitching since this is basically a hallmark of designer quality. Whether it be a pair of Jordan sneakers or a Gucci bucket hat, stitching is essential. On most LV products, since their standard design is monogram and Vuitonite, which is the color code for most LV canvas products, including this Jasper wallet, the stitching must be black in order to match. I'll let you guys in on a little secret here. The MCM card holder my mom got me for Christmas that I've been wanting to show you guys has white stitching. Needless to say, it's black now. So apart from the stitching on the wallet being absolutely seamless, no poles or thread hair sticking out, it looks brand new, pretty much like it was never used. Another thing I was worried about when purchasing this wallet uh, was this Louis Vuitton stamp on the inside of the wallet in silver there. I was under the impression when I first got it that it would fade away quickly, you know, from the oils on my hand to me making contact with it and opening and closing it. I just thought it would rub away, but so far it hasn't, and I'm happy to report this. This wallet really transcends your standard leather wallet in many ways, and rightly so. The quality of the leather is just superior. It's calf leather on the inside and outside, and it just smells like a cow pasture. It's a subtle reminder of the DNA of the wallet but it's also an indication of the craftsmanship and attention to detail the craftsman takes when cutting the canvas. Of course, the back of the wallet, or the outside spine, is lined in black calf leather, which gives the Jasper wallet a distinct look over the standard multiple wallet, the reason I bought it in the first place and the reason it's more expensive, but for the most part, it's LV through and through, and that's what I love about this wallet. Moreover, when you open the wallet, Two LV logos flanked by florets greet you and give it even more character. I suggest if you need a wallet with more slots, 
buy the pocket organizer on top of this or purchase the Braza wallet instead. The Braza wallet is a long wallet with 12 credit card slots, gusseted bill compartment, zippered coin pouch and more, and it costs just a tad bit more at $645. So last but not least, I want to talk about how I found inspiration in this wallet. Call me materialistic, but the sheer perfection of the way the canvas pattern is lined up to be as symmetrical as possible has really led me to try to be as symmetrical and as precise as possible in my own work, especially in photography, which I think is art just like the wallet is. As a photographer, it's important to crop and adjust images to make sure lines are parallel with one another and that the image is upright and not crooked or cockeyed in any way. And if you actually look at the LV logo on the back of the wallet here, you'll notice that it is perfectly center and perfectly paralleled with the black calf leather lining on the spine of the wallet. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this one year later review of my Louis Vuitton Jasper wallet. I picked up at the Louis Vuitton boutique in Naples, which makes it a convenience good for $515. The wallet does now cost $530, but I hope that at the end of this video, you can decide whether or not purchasing this wallet is a good decision. It's been a good decision for me due to the fact that it has held up so nicely and it's something that I find inspiration in and enjoy having. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is John. If you like this video, hit that like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.